Welcome back to part 6 of the Construct 2 Breakout Clone Tutorial. In this part, we're going to add laser beams to our paddle. Right, first, I want to rename this to Red Laser. I'm going to add an event sheet. See, to my cheat codes, I'm going to I'll add a couple right here. Edit. I'm going to change this to key 6. Done. I'm going to change this. Edit. To key... Seven. Okay, I'm going to delete these, add new actions, I'm going to change the appearance of the paddle. I'd like to set the animation on six, I'd like to set that to my laser animation, and on key seven, I'd like to set this to my beam animation. Remember, it's important that these animation names exactly match what you call them over here. Otherwise, it'll just use the default animation. All right. Next, I'm going to add a new group. We'll press G. I'll try that again. Press G. I'll call this lasers and beams. Okay. So, when someone presses the space bar, I'd like to fire a beam. So let's see. Add a sub event. Keyboard. Key is pressed. Which key? The space key. Done. Now, I'm also going to add actually another condition. I want to give people the option to use the space key. Maybe one of the mouse buttons. Left is fine. I um, want this to be an OR, so I'll right click, make that an OR block. And then I'll add another sub event. Oops. Add sub event. Okay, so if the paddle is in its laser state, that is to say, if the laser animation or the laser image is showing, in that case, well, I want to be able to fire off some lasers. I want to be able to fire off more than one. So going to the laser image, I'm going to create something called image points. Actually, I guess I already did. To create an image point, you just click plus, and then just click as to where you want each image point to go. So I've created two, one image point positioned here on that left white dot, and the second image point I've positioned here on the right one, right white dot. Okay, so now, when the animation laser, I'm going to add an action, I'm going to have the paddle spawn a new object, specifically a red laser. On the main layer, it's going to show up at the image point 1. Oh, which object? It's going to spawn a red laser. Done. Copy and paste, so now I've got two. Now the next thing is, you want these lasers to move of their own accord, so if you right click, go to behaviors, you want to add a bullet behavior. I've done that, here's your bullet behavior. Now for each of these lasers, I need to set a couple of things. Add another action, I'm going to set the speed, I'll set that to 300 and change it if I need to. I also need to set the angle of motion. Let's see, add another action, red laser. Scroll down to bullet, angle of motion, so that's 90 degrees. 90 degrees is straight up. I want this to apply to each laser. So I'm going to copy and paste and move two of these up. The placement's important because these objects correspond to the most recently created red laser. So it looks like I'm being repetitive, but really I'm not. Oops, and this image point should not be one. That should be image point two. All right, let's try it out. So if all goes well, these lasers should shoot up. You know, actually, one more event. Um, this is actually a very helpful one to add. I don't want to have a bunch of lasers floating around off screen. So if a laser does not exist, I'll destroy it outside the layout. If I can't see it, it's not there. All right. I don't need to save it. Just hit play. Use that cheat code I set up. You can keep bouncing you all. Um, six sets it in laser mode. Oops, <laughs> I made a mistake there. 90 degrees is down, not up. So let me go back here. Change this to 270. 270 is up. Try it one more time. Ah, we made it under the gun. Next, we'll make the bricks explode when the lasers actually hit them. We'll do that in the next tutorial.